Oh, so my business is kind of twofold. I actually have a film production company as well as a foundation. Um, so one just does the media production, commercials, and, and those sort of things. And the other one, the foundation, is about my mother's story, which is the, the Joan Trump Howard Mall Holland Foundation. And they've kind of almost kind of merged together in some sense because um, the foundation and the film company produces documentaries for the foundation itself as well. But I still do all the freelance stuff of commercials and those sort of things. The business name of the, of the, um, of the film company is Taylor Street Films. And I was born on, no, well, not born on, I was, I grew up on Taylor Street in Arlington, Virginia. So it just seemed kind of a natural thing in that regards. And then the Joan Trump Power Mulholland Foundation is named after my mother. And uh, she said, you know, I wish you could have picked a better name. But I said, well, it's named after you because, you know, the whole point of the foundation is to preserve and share and continue my mother's legacy while teaching children about the civil rights movement and how they can, they, they too can go out and make a difference because my mother, uh, the interesting thing about her is that she was 10 years old when she decided that segregation was wrong and that she was going to do something about it. And that by the time she was 19, she had been involved in about three dozen sit-ins and protests. Uh, when she joined the Freedom Rise, and they took that famous mugshot that's now pretty much iconic and uh, put her on death row. And that's, you know, as I like to tell people, that's the beginning of the story. If you want to hear the rest, go buy the DVD. But I originally made a documentary, well, not even documentary, it's a mockumentary. Uh, film, and so I needed a production company name for that. I was partnering with Kaleidoscope Pictures, uh, and so I said, well, Taylor Street Films, there we go. And so it just, that just kind of stuck and then carried through, and I've been, been around for about 10 years. Uh, the foundation, um, that got started because of the film that we did out of Taylor Street Films, which was the documentary about my mother called An Ordinary Hero. And so what I found was that people just were really just gravitated to her story and wanted to know more and more and more. Um, so we created a foundation to help, you know, an easier way to, to fund projects about my mother. So we actually ended up, uh, just this past year, uh, writing two books and producing another film, which is coming out this fall. Uh, before we even release that, we're actually in the process of shooting two more documentaries uh, this summer. Um, but that was just the foundation came out of a film to help children learn more because what ended up happening was is we went to Old Miss for a screening at a film festival that's in Mississippi. And what we found was that these, these college educated kids knew nothing about the civil rights movement. And they said, you know, we never heard any of this growing up. And I said, wow, 80% of this story takes place in your state and you don't know any of this? Uh, if it's that bad for, no, that's Mississippi. But if it's that bad for college kids, then, you know, I can't imagine what it's going to be like for these, you know, these younger kids. So that's where we decided you know, we need to get this further down uh, from an education standpoint. Fifth grade, that's where you learn about U.S. history. So we created the books um, and partnered up with an education-based company called Studies Weekly that uh, helped us you know, create a curriculum package and teacher guides and so forth, and now we provide those as well. So to teach kids not only about the civil rights movement, but again, how they can go out and, and make a difference in their world. Well, again, there's, there's two parts to my business. There's the filmmaking part, and then there's the foundation part. So from a, a filmmaking standpoint, I just, just love seeing ideas come to life. I love clients that come to me with these crazy concepts, go, can we make this happen? Just, and just giving them the world. And it, it's, it's fun uh, from that standpoint. Uh, from a, a more serious point when we're doing documentaries is bringing you know important issues to light for people and finding ways to help educate them on these important issues. Uh, and mine happens to center around civil rights because of my mother. Um, from a foundation standpoint, the uh, it's it's just the joy of talking with kids. Uh, you know, there's if I could just go and talk to kids all day at schools and things like that, that's what I would do for a living. But I still got to pay the bills, of course. Um, and, and until we get some rich benefactor that wants to completely fund our foundation, that'd be wonderful. But uh, so if you know anybody, let me know. Um, but it's just really talking with kids and seeing them come to life. They they get it, they, and they and, and it's amazing. It's these these kids in elementary school. They want to make a difference. They see what the world is like, and we tell them, don't try to change the world. Just change yours, whatever that might be. It doesn't have to be civil rights or anything like that. It just could be you know you don't like the dirty playground or bullying or whatever it is and. And so, you know, they find a cause and, and go create a solution. And so we help them with that, but we actually help them see that they can make a difference. Uh, because my mom's story is that 
that very example, the 10-year-old girl who says, this is wrong, I'm going to do something about it. You know, I, it's, it's funny, it's, I think about the time I failed, and I, I think the failure was, was, was the first project I did, which was, you know, um, Believe, this, this mockumentary, which a lot of people say they really, really enjoy. I still get people, you know, 10 years later coming up to me and saying, wow, you know, I really just love that movie. It was uh, just at the wrong time in, in our market. Um, what was considered, you know, the local film market you know, had completely crashed, like right before we released the film, and then the the, the distribution company just released it at a horrible time and stuff. It just just felt really just just a complete failure. Um, the film, technically in and of itself, was a success, but financially it, it wasn't. Um, and that's just a, that makes you feel horrible. But um, growing from that, learning from that is is uh, I really kind of found my niche out of that. You know, someday I like to make a real movie, as I call it. You know, which is this, you know one of those narrative things you would see you know in the movie theaters. But in the meantime, you know, uh, it allowed me to focus and 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 get back to to who I am as as a filmmaker, um, and that became the documentaries, which I knew I always wanted to do. Uh, but again, you know, as, as, as a filmmaker, you always have these delusions of grandeur. You're going to make the next Star Wars, whatever else. And if it, if it doesn't reach that pinnacle, then you consider yourself a failure. Um, instead of enjoying uh, the, the art and the craft and the creation of, of just film in general. And so um, being able to recognize, you know, where your, where your real heart and where your real talent is, that became the success from that failure and getting to that point and finding your niche. Um, and that niche is who you, know, who you really are. Uh, the biggest challenge I face is myself, quite frankly. It's, it's, um, you know, it's, it's the self-doubt. It's the, you know, who do you think you are? You know, why, why, why would you make a movie? You're not qualified, you know, and these sort of things. And, um, and you come up with these ideas and you're going, wow, this could be a great idea. And then you go shoot the thing and you're like, this is the worst idea ever. You start to edit, and you're like, oh, that's not too bad. Um, but it's, it's, it's really just the, the again, the icon, overcoming yourself. And, and that comes back into that, that uh, the, a previous question regarding, you know, where's your greatest success come out of your failures? And that was finding, finding that niche and just being true to yourself. Um, that's, that's been the biggest challenge uh, for me. It's one of the biggest challenges people have is, you know, they... They either try to avoid failure or um, they, they don't ever learn from them. And by avoiding, you're in, in, going to end up failing anyways. And by not learning from them, you, know, you end up quitting. Uh, and instead of, you know, again, coming back to being true to yourself. But taking those necessary steps along the way and, and, and growing with those steps. Um, as I like to say, you know, you, you know, becoming an overnight success story 10 years in the making, right? No one sees the, the blood, sweat, and tears that go into uh, your overnight success. You know, they're only there for that last little moment. Um, but uh, everyone, you know, those who have been around you know what, and, and those who have been involved in business and so forth know that, you know, it, nothing's overnight. Um, and sometimes it might be the newest idea becomes a huge success. But again, that idea uh, happened because of all the other ideas that came before it. You know, and, and you're kind of carving away the the stone to get to the, the perfect, you know, statue, if you will. The one piece of advice that I would give is, is learn to fail. You know, quite frankly, uh, it's, it's only through failure that you grow, in, in my opinion. I mean, I, I don't know a single, gosh, single business person who hasn't failed on at least one, one project or, you know, or one business concept or whatever else. It, if, if you can fail, then you, then you can succeed. Um, that's the only way we can improve is, is by learning. What truly motivates me is, is the mission itself, is, is knowing and internalizing uh, what the mission of our business is all about. Now, for me, it's, it's a foundation uh, and, um, you know, promoting my mother's story and, and, and sharing these, you know, these important, you know, life values with children and so forth. I mean, that's, that's a, a great motivator in and of itself. But be it for the film production company or, or the foundation, um, it's, it's really just knowing that mission and staying, staying focused on that.